Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I've got a very exciting message from the Lord given to Julie Wedby today. Okay, I've tried to fix the light in here. It is dark. I apologize for that, but just listen. You'll get excited. I just got this off of Grafted in Team Jesus, and I said, I've got to go for a few minutes and share this with my subscribers. I'll be right back. All right, I am, I am on her website which is I am calling you now dot blogspot dot com and it's called Behold I Come and the title of this word is My Big Move and it's dated Monday, November the first, y'all. Brand new. My battle weary army. Listen to my words. You must know I know you more intimately than you know yourself. You were with me before you came here. You are not separate from me. I see every tear and hold you so close to my heart. Your prayers are so powerful and like sweet incense to me. Do not stop praying. I see your discouragement, your disgust at the evil. I know your pain and sufferings and how you long for healing, not only for yourself, but for but your loved ones in so many different ways. Yes, Lord, that is so true. I know it all. I am listening. I am watching. But remember... I am also in control. There is such a distinction between you and the enemy and all his dark kingdom. They are created beings. You carry the breath of your creator within. My spirit and all that I am is integrated so deeply within you like a tapestry, a finely woven fabric into the core of each cell of your bodies, my temples. No enemy can prevail against that. You must understand who you are in me as I have called you to walk in that power and authority. You must, must, must demand your spirit to have mastery over your soul nature, which is the mind, intellect, emotions, feelings, thoughts, and desires. This is crucial to overcoming. Do not succumb to the flesh nature. Cry out to me continually. I am faithful to help you. Remember what I have taught you. Live the crucified life. Display the glorified one. The dark kingdom have done all they can to keep you bound, sick, despairing, fearful, travailing over the evil that they spew everywhere. But my presence is just one of you, my presence in just one of you would annihilate the entirety of their forces, his presence. Okay, I understand how difficult this journey has been and is. But the best is yet to come. Of course it is, Jesus. In order for the fullness of all that I have designed to come to fruition, I have held back great and severe judgment over the earth until now. The tables will turn now, though, and I will make myself known like never before. I will do this through judgments and through you. All of creation in the natural is responding to my command. Wait a minute. Hold on. I lost my place. All of creation in the natural is responding to my command 
as there are fires, storms of unusual proportions, volcanoes, and earthquakes as the earth trembles under the weight of sin and evil. Everything is shaking and will continue to shake at my approach. My remnant army and bride, I lovingly urge you to rejoice and find your rest in me. As you are filled to overflowing with my spirit, your waiting is coming to an end. This earth has never seen what is about to happen, and I assure you, my loves, your day is so very near now when all that is evil will flee from you and my hand will work miracles and do the impossible through you so that all may know who I am and make a choice for eternal life and not death. I am about to make my big move. Stand firm in the position I have placed you in. Do not be distracted. Trust me completely and without hesitation. Have faith and believe my word will continue to be fulfilled. I will strengthen you and uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. Do not fear. I have the victory, which means you have the victory. I am coming for you, Yahushua. And she puts scriptures down here, many, many of them. I will copy and paste those into the description box. So with that, I'm going to say, oh my goodness, let us pray that we are counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man as part of his bride. Are you ready, brides? Are you ready? Oh, my mouth's trying to eat a hair. I hate it when that happens. Okay, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you probably tomorrow. This is probably it for tonight. Okay, bye for now, everybody. I love you. You're in my prayers. Keep me in yours, too, okay? All right, bye-bye and good night. Or good day, whenever it is you happen to see this.